everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And I am Rodney1279. Thank you. Welcome to Tic Tac Doe on the Rodney1279 channel. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. As it stands right now, we only got two people on the call, so that means we're going to do our best two out of three game. It may take up two episodes. It might not. So we'll see what happens. So we have two challengers right now. We have Mike in the X spot. Hey, honey. Hey, how you doing? And we have Justin in the uh, circle spot. Hi, Ronnie. Hey, Justin. Are y'all guys ready to play Tic-Tac-Doe? Yeah. Bring it. All right. Here are the categories for the first game. I'm going to play the best out of the three. Here we go. We have TV, film, and books. The secret category, choose the secret category and you're correct. The value of the jackpot will double. We have game shows, breaking news, Disney classics, science and nature, U.S. presidents, the $10,000 question, and toys and games. And as y'all know, the out boxes are worth $2,500. The center box is always a two-part question, and that is worth $5,000. And whoever gets tic-tac-toe, whether it's across, up and down, or diagonally, will win every single dollar in the pot. And they will go ahead and play against that dragon for possibly $185,000. Okay? Alright, so with that said, right. Mike, you won the coin toss. Go ahead and select your uh, category and we'll get started. Okay, Pikachu or two? Pika! Okay, Disney Classics in the center box, please, Link. Okay, it's going to be a two-part question worth um, worth uh, $5,000. I was about to say $3,000. That was the old Tic Tac Doe. <laughs> $5,000, and you'll get the extra time for that, okay? So we're going to go ahead. Okay. And then we'll get you Disney Classics here. Let that music go by. And remember, y'all both got y'all uh, lifelines. Here we go. What's the name of the character holding baby Simba? Is it A, Zazu, B, Naga, C, Pumba, or D, Rafiki? I believe that would be Zazu. Zazu, let's see if you're right. No, it's Rafiki from, oh. the, from the Lion King. Dang. Ra Rafiki, that's a wrong uh, answer. I haven't, seen, and, I haven't seen that one in quite a while, in about a year and a half or two. Yeah. Well, let's shuffle up the board. Oh. Zap, it. Zap me, Pikachu. All right, and uh, Justin, uh, open board. Good going, Mike. Oh. Game shows. Going game shows. Question on game shows, Justin. What show... Considered a forerunner to The Voice and American Idol was hosted by Arsenio Hall in the 2000s. Uh, could you please repeat the question? What show considered a forerunner to The Voice and American Idol was hosted by Arsenio Hall in the 2000s? You got 10 seconds. America's Got Talent? I don't know. No, no, it's not America's Got Talent. The answer was Star Search. Star Search. So, yeah, he hosted Star Search in the 2000s. Okay, we got nothing on the board. Let's shuffle up the board. Oh, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, Rodney. I, I, I never seen that show. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. All right, so go to Mike. Uh, Pika. Let's do science and nature in the center. All right, two-part question, science and nature. You'll get the extra time, Mike. Y'all still have all y'all help. Science and nature in the center, please, Link. All right, so let me go ahead and get you science and nature. Here we go, science and nature. What type 
a celestial body is the sun? Is it A, planet, B, star, C, comet, or D, asteroid? Ten seconds. It's a star. That's correct. You got that, that right. So it is a star. Now you got um you got to answer one more to get that box. Here we go. Science and nature. Here's the next one. What is the study of stars and planets called? Is it A, geology, B, meteorology, C, astronomy, or D, astrology? I didn't hear the question. You were cutting out. So I'm going to need 30 okay. seconds. Okay. Okay, you called for 30 seconds. Okay, so I have to give you that. What is... The study of stars and planets called? Is it A, geology, B, meteorology, C, astronomy, or D, astrology? Astronomy. Astronomy, let's see. That's correct, you got the box! Alright, so you use your 30 seconds, Mike. Alright. And I had to because you were cutting out. Okay. I could have paused the time and repeated the question for you. But I had to t give you the 30 seconds. Okay, we shuffle. We have $5,000 in the pot. And it is Justin. Let's redeem myself for game shows. Going game shows again. Question on game shows, Justin, is this. What show... Eliminate contestants round by round by declaring them the worst player and the phrase goodbye. That's easy, the weakest line. That's right, good job. We have $7,500 in the pot and we shuffle. Mike. Ooh. Let me go to game shows, please. He's going to game shows. Question on game shows, Mike, is this. What phrase did Bob Barker use to conclude each episode of The Price is Right? Help control the pet population? Have your pets spayed or neutered. That's correct. Every word correct. Good job. You got 10, we have $10,000 in the pot, and we shuffle the board up. He started using that in 1987. Yes. Justin. Uh, well, I, got, I gotta go toys and games for, and games for the block. Go with toys and games for the block. Your question, Justin, on toys and games. Here we go. What chess piece can only move in an L shape? Is it A, knight, B, rook, C, castle, or D, bishop? I use a 30 second and 50 50 because you're fine out. Okay, I'm gonna give you a 30 second and I'm gonna give you a 50 50. Alright, so what chess piece can only move in an L shape? Is it A knight or B D bishop? Uh, A or the first one, excuse me? You're going with knight. Yeah. You got the block, Justin. That's right. There we go. We have twelve thousand five hundred dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, uh, Mike. Let me go for the block in the two-way trap with game shows. Going game shows, okay. Question on game shows, Mike, is this: Jeff Foxworthy and John Cena have been hosts of a game show testing whether adults are smarter. Then students of what grade level? Let me read that again. Jeff Foxworthy and John Cena have been hosts of a game show testing whether adults are smarter than students of what grade level? The fifth grade. That is correct. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? That's correct. I'm we not have... ready for a new one with 
Travis Kelsey. Wait a minute, that is coming back on? Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's going to be a celebrity. celebrity with uh, Travis Kelsey, of all people. Wow. Well, let me know when it comes out, uh, y'all. All right. We shuffle. I will, but I'm not watching it. <laughs> okay, we shuffle. All right. Oh, wow. What do you think, Justin? Uh, I'll go with Secret Category. All right. You're going for the Secret Category. Now, if you get the Secret Category question correctly, we'll double that pot from $15,000 to $30,000. And you know this question could be about anything. Here we go. Your question. What is the rarest natural hair color in humans? Is it A, purple, B, red, C, white, or D, black? Uh, I'm going to say red. Or red? Yeah. You doubled the money, Justin, right? Let's go. Was that a guess, Justin? Yes, that was a guess. Good guess. We have thirty thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Mike. Uh, TV film and books for the win, Wink. And Mike, if you get this question right on TV film and books, it will be tic tac toe, thirty-two thousand five hundred dollars, and you will win your first game in this match. Here we go. TV film and books is the category. And here's the question. These are the four new emotions who came to join joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust in Pixar's Inside Out 2. Who isn't part of the new game? Is it A, embarrassment, B, anxiety, C, envy, or D, pride? Pride. Let's see. You got Tic Tac Doe! Oh, yeah. you, you won your first uh, game, Mike? Good yeah. news, I haven't seen Inside Out 2 yet, so please, no spoilers. All right, all right. So you won $32,500, um, and our congratulations, you'll stay in the X-Pod again. Justin, don't go too far away. We'll have you back for another game because there's only two people on here, okay, Justin? All right, so we're going to get my microphone here. All right, Mike, are you ready to go ahead against that dragon? How the dragon? You're going down. All right. We have $185,000 up there for the taking for you. So we'll see what happens here. All right, let's do... I'm glad that inside... Yeah, all I'm right. Glad that inside... Two question came up. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Mike. So congratulations. There are nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to get the ticket attack, ticket and attack, and reach ten thousand dollars or more uh, before seeing this dragon. Now, if you manage to get the tick. And the tack, uh, or $10,000 or more before seeing that dragon, you'll win $50,000. Now, should you get the tick and the tack on your first two picks, we're going to give you $185,000 in cash, okay? All right. All right, Mike, are you ready to go? Bring it, Rodney. Here we go. Let's do the um, Beat the Dragon game. And you may begin, Mike. Okay. Well, let's go dead center number five. Let's see what's in number five. Oh! Oh, my God. All right, Mike, you know you have to go. Oh, now, if you, now, if you find tack, Mike, we're going to add ten ten dollars to the... Uh, the tournament bank, and you're going to win $185,000. And you have one in eight chance to find that tag. What do you think of that? I'm going to go through the middle. 
seven with six. Good luck but, to you. Yeah. If Tack is behind it's number six, up. you win $185,000. Come on, Tack, be there. Let it be there. No. Okay, so that oh. means that the jackpot goes up by $5,000. And I can't pull the, uh, the scoreboard over because I clipped my nails today. So, oh. it's at $190,000 now, Mike. Now, you have an option. You can go ahead and stop and take the 1000 or go on and uh, risk it. Let's go on. Let's... All right. Let's finish off the middle line with four. Going with number four. Okay. Let's see what's behind number four. That's five thousand dollars. You have six thousand okay. dollars. Do we stop or go? We'll go. We're gonna go upstairs to two. Going with number two. Okay. You need four thousand dollars or the tag. Let's see what's behind number two. No dragon. No dragon. You did it. That adds another five dollars to the uh, pot, making a hundred and thirty dollars. You have fifty thousand dollars, Mike. Let's see where the dragon was and the rest of the money amounts. The dragon been ate a lot lately. I knew the dragon was behind number eight. I should have thought on a diagonal. Well, the dragon was behind number eight, so good for you, Mike, for avoiding number eight. So we're going to give you your $32,500 that you won in the main game. So that gives you a one game wins total of $82,500. All right, guys. We're going to take a little bit break right now. And when we come back, we'll do a, another game with Justin and Mike in a best of three match. Stay tuned.